So the whole trans debate is never not going to be dumb. I, I think it's very much is is proven that it's dumb at this point. I think everyone's on board with that. And the obvious fundamental point being it's a discrepancy between the alphabet community of the LGBs and the Ts. The LGBs saying, I was born this way, baby. I, I'm attracted <laughs> to men because they are men and I'm a man and I love men. I was getting clipped. Uh, <laughs> it's you, nice that you cleared that up, Cal. Yeah, and then you have the T's who are like, no, gender, sex, none of these things mean anything. I can change all of them at once. And they also it, don't it, exist. It's very strange that supposedly diametrically opposed positions are now in some sort of alliance. Well, that's the thing. Fundamentally, like ideologically, they never actually were, if anyone paid attention to the two camps. Mm -hmm. you know, I love the meme of the uh, the unicorn and the horse with a plunger on its head, but I'll get back to that. Cause <laughs> I the, haven't seen that. The, uh, the, the whole debate keeps carrying on in the West, and especially in UK politics, about what is woman. But I thought I'd mention first just something on Losius.com, being Constantine Kissins and Immigrants Love Letters to the West Book Club we did. Because it's quite funny him coming from Russia and then looking at us and being like, why are you retarded? What are you, what are you, like, you used to have good things, like good institutions, good values, and now you're spending your time whining about why exactly? What is a woman? What? <laughs> I didn't want to come here and join that. And he's not wrong. And the debate is carrying on. If we go to the next one here, just to demonstrate, I'm not just making this up, as you see here. Now, you may remember there was a whole thing about a debate in Parliament about whether or not we should just allow people to change their sex on a whim, because the Scottish Parliament said so, and the UK government went, Celts, idiots. Not allowed. No more government for you. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be the, the first time that the UK government's going to veto something in the Scottish Parliament since devolution in the 90s, isn't it? It's literally just, okay, this was a mistake. For this, you can't be trusted. And uh, rightly so. It, it makes you think, though, all of the dumb things that the SNP have done, and the vetoing has always been an option, but they've just been like, no. no let them suffer. But if you want to let you know kids and women get in easily avoidable harm... Uh, no, this probably is an easy place to intervene. And you can see here, this is the, the Rosie Duffield from the Labour Party gave up and gave some speech being like, I think women deserve not to be raped. And um, she was booed for this opinion <laughs> by her own party members. And then the party leader's uh, aides have come out saying that she should stop spending time hanging out with JK Rowling. And you see Labour's woman problem, blah, 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 story about politics. <clears throat> I don't know if you noticed the headline below it. Protesters who want women decapitated... These are local protesters <laughs> protesting against Rosie. <laughs> Very reasonable people, clearly. Yeah, I just love how he's got the old, the, the whole left wing party is fracturing because they're unsure about whether Rosie is on the right side of mm. history. Of uh, should women have the ability to go to the bathroom, whether the women only, mm -hmm. and then below it you've got the opposition to that position that are like, kill her. <laughs> wasn't um, wasn't that in Glasgow or somewhere like that, somewhere in Scotland, and uh, an MP or an MSP? was told off for being photographed next to the sign, yeah, almost seem like they're endorsing it. She's in the photo, I believe. Behind her is a sign it. saying uh, turf terror and um, decapitate turfs, and it's just like, okay, all right then. Well, we know where you stand. <laughs> if I went out with that sign, I would get arrested. It's not fair. No, it's, it really isn't, but then again, that's how the cathedral works. <laughs> to be fair, I've got better things to be doing <laughs> with my time. Well, I don't know, that sign in your bedside that says some things, so it's... <laughs> <laughs> I know it's collecting dust. Anyway, but we we'll go to Starmer's team because um, it turns out there's actually audio recordings now of them whining about it. And so I'm not going to play because it it's just boring. But it's it's just the people who actually surround the tip top of the league party all just whining about her. how dare she stand out and say something? Why can't she just be quiet? Okay. <laughs> I mean, having your own mind, my goodness. Yeah. Unbearable. In the Labour Party, unthinkable. That's. Very unlabor. That is true, actually. You, you've got me there. But you may remember this screecher from the debate, which is the uh, the SNP guy who was just uh, freaking out because uh, a conservative stood up and said, um, maybe child safeguarding should be respected. Maybe children deserve not to be... And he stood up and said, that's transphobic. And uh, everyone's response was, what? So <laughs> <laughs> You respect children, and that's discrimination against trans people. Yeah, real weird oh, yeah. Uh, argumentation. But what I didn't notice, and has been subsequently noticed, is after he screeched and then was told to shut up, he got up, moved across the hall, and sat right next to that woman who gave the speech, the one in red there in the bottom right, you may see. Yeah. Real creepy behaviour. The guy in the blue tie next to her actually got up and moved next to her just to make sure she was alright and not feeling intimidated. Because what the hell are you doing? That is weird, that he gets up and goes and sits near the person who was pushing back against him. Yeah, after screeching that they're a transphobe, which is essentially you're a heretic and used to be, um, well, the previous protesters had their opinion on that. And just a note for people who don't know, 
Parliament. Um, he's not allowed to sit on that side because, well, that side is for the people in charge, and he's not in charge of the UK <laughs> government. He's SNP. Uh, he went and sat on that. I think that's the, the what is it? The, the, the guy with the mace. I can't remember his name now. Black Rod's seat. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's just going over there to intimidate her. There is no other reason for him to be sitting there, is my point. And uh, definitely so. It's not the first time that the SNP have misbehaved in Parliament, though. They, did, do you remember the guy who went and tried to get the Queen's scepter? In the, yeah. That was so ridiculous. I love every time they do something retarded, the speaker just gets up and is like, no, no, stop making a child. He's like <laughs> a, a weary substitute teacher, isn't he? Just like, yes, I'm, I'm done caring, yeah. but I've got, got to get through the day. But local hospitals have decided to take on the opinion that uh, perhaps, perhaps we should um, not respect safeguarding. Because if you go to the next one here, the NHS, with all their stretched budgets, have decided to now make inclusive toilets and showers. Uh, my father saw this and thought that the shower might be a Heil Hitler thing as well, because <laughs> what's going on there. But <laughs> yeah, that's a, an interesting arm position there. Yeah, a weird mix of Hitler imagery and showers. But anyway, without, without those jokes were standing, we now have all the uh, toilets being gender inclusive as, as uh, the new hospital in, in London. What was that the Queen Elizabeth Hospital? This is Same. discrimination against men, because we're now going to be forced to wait for everyone else when we're really efficient, we're going to the toilet. Yeah, I mean, just... Have you ever seen a line for the men's room? At no, a of course not. There never is. It's, it's like it's like the perfect society. It's the perfect system. It just works. It's just just get on with it. Go on. We've got things to do. And uh, you may have noticed as well, a lot of these are the disabled toilets, which is... um, <laughs> it's, uh, That's actually what they're used for, because they're, they're accessible toilets. That's the whole point. Mm. But no, they now expand it to all other toilets, because having toilets specifically for people who don't fit into the obvious binary of uh, life... Uh, wasn't enough. No, nope. have to go into all the brothers as well. Anyway, no one will ever abuse this, I'm told. No one ever. Good. No, 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 no one ever, ever. This has pictured uh, two people, I presume, a man and a woman, who would never do such things as uh, abuse the trust given to people. That they I'm, totally I'm sure trans. they're very innocent. Yeah, yeah, this, this story broke just as this was happening, and yes, I can see the bulge. <laughs> very feminine bulge. <laughs> I wish I couldn't. Yeah. We'll go to the next one here, because uh, this is the story. Uh, this rapist decided he was no longer a man after only appearing in court on a rape charge. Scottish MP's furious transgender rapist attacked two women, then charged gender, changed gender before the trial. Just um, all of a sudden. The headline may as well be, Fox identifies as chicken yeah. to infiltrate coot. And, uh, well, I love how this is perfect timing for, should we allow people who claim they're transgender to go in any toilet or any safe space that they want, as in, like, a changing room or such? Not, you know, a counselling session, as that word is usually used for. But at the same time, this story comes out, local man who's being, well, I think convicted now of rape twice, turns up to court and goes, I'm a woman. I, I'm not joking either. Though. It's... <laughs> It is very naked, isn't it? He's clearly been reading the news because he knows that, well, I can be sent to a women's prison. Yeah, and that's the point. Yeah, the people who want to bring harm on the world will exploit everything possible. So uh, Elsa Bryson, who was shaven head Adam Graham with Mike Tyson face style tattoos, when carried out his violent sex attacks in 2016 and 2019 after abusing the victims they originally met online. Now, I read that and thought, well, it's nice that the male have stopped using her to describe rapists. Bryson, who claimed to have had gender issues since the age of four, that's the best part, turns up the corner is like, since four years old, since I were a lad, I remember I was a girl. <laughs> Which, but it's only just <laughs> suddenly on set when I've got legal trouble. That's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Began transitioning from a man to a woman in 2020 after being charged with the rapes. The attacker denied the accusations, telling jurors any sex was consensual. Although Bryson insisted she did not like sleeping with women, they made the first move. Okay. Thank the mail lasted all of one paragraph before revolting back to, well, I can't offend a rapist. Don't want to do that. I might get in trouble. The Daily Mail is insufferable. I mean, you only need to look at the, the column of shame on the right-hand side that's normally filled with celebrity gossip, just like, look at which Love Island stars get their ass out now. Yeah. I actually want to talk about Big Con. The, the British conservative movement is definitely that. I, I like, can't stand how you have the, the male, etc., who are all like, oh, we're right-wing outlets, and they're mm. just being retarded on purpose by the looks of it. Yeah, well, they're, not only is their journalistic quality not the best... It's, it's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> It is the, the very low benchmark for the British press. Yeah. Uh, it is understood that Bryson is being held in a segregation unit at Corton Vale Women's Prison, because of course, where the attacker will be uh, a risk assessed ahead of sentencing to see whether she will serve her term. Right, the male. Oh, yeah. 
There's a reason I use the Mile article, it's just because of the ridiculous nature of like, yes, we're right wing, but I still, it's a woman, I, it's a woman rapist who raped her with her penis. It's still not a crime to mis misgender people, so it, they can't even use that defence, can they? No, but the other ridiculousness of, uh, again, the female space, a uh, woman's prison, violate that, why? Because uh, we can. It's illegal. I mean, the UK government literally just intervened to say, no, we're not letting this happen. And at the same time, the prison system is like, well, what does law mean? <laughs> it's a, a very strange <laughs> institution to start getting philosophical about what the law and justice is, isn't yeah. it? Today, Bryson was found guilty of the two rapes. The defendant denied the charges, saying that the evidence uh, is that she would never hurt her human being. She. Her defence, KC Edward Tarvonsky, even told the High Court in Glasgow, if you accept that evidence, that she is transitioning, that she is aiming to continue on the path of becoming female gender, that goes a long way to acquitting her of these charges. That's well, a really funny sentence. I I'm sick of seeing her bulge on the screen at the minute. John, well, can you scroll up or something? I no, don't want to see it. There. Her bulge. No. <laughs> All right, get rid of it. <laughs> no, one, no one wants to look at that. But um, the point being that the, the lawyer is saying, if you accept that this person is transitioning to be a woman, you have to acquit her of these charges because women can't commit rape. Because UK law, we've gone over this before. I was mistaken once upon a time. It turns out, yes, no, if you don't have a penis, you can't commit rape. And by definition, women don't have penises, therefore can't commit rape under UK law. It's, uh, it's a he thing. It's really messed up. That Needs is correcting. very strange, yeah. yeah. Many countries have corrected this. We have not for some reason. And uh, at the same time, you have the lawyer in the court being like, well, that's a woman, so I can't commit rape. Sorry, she can't commit rape, not it. So there are, going <laughs> there are going to be a bunch of rapists now just identifying as women. And they're like, well, you can't convict me. I mean, yes. <laughs> there's one, but there's there. <laughs> when there's one, there will be more. Oh, there's right? been more. Like this this is just the first one to make the argument oh, in court. For goodness sake. Directly. So nakedly, in fact. In December, around sixty protesters gathered outside Quantum Vale when trans women paedophile Katie Dolowatsky was sent there. This is the, yeah, it's not the first. Not the first instance of this. We'll go to the next image. Or uh, the article. Transgender woman, 18, sexually assaulted girl, 10 in Morrison's toilet. Moved to a female prison. Because trust me, it's a woman. Katie over here, 18, admitted to grabbing the youngster by her face and forcing her into the cubicle before demanding she take her trousers off in the store. She carried out a similar attack just weeks earlier, on the 8th of February, when another young girl using the toilet at an Asda store in uh, Halbeth spotted Dolowowski using a mobile phone to spy on her in the partition wall. Again, wonderful. Why wouldn't you let such people into the changing rooms? Well, because people might be taking advantage of that. <sighs> dumb, dumb. This is what I mean by the whole thing could never get dumber. The teenager narrowly avoided jail and insisted uh, was instead handed a three-year community order banned from having contact with children as well, which, why? Send them to a prison. A three-year community order for that. It's weird how um, some people don't go to jail for such a thing, but any other person would, for the obvious reason that what the hell... Well, like you're really messed up. You deserve prison time. Um, they were given the the order though that they not delete their internet history, otherwise they go to prison. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, what do you think happened? Did they get up to no good? Oh, they went home and delete their history. They got oh right, oh, of course. Yeah, if you go to the next one here, we can see. Guess what happened? Is just there you are. Um, if we can look at that image, just to to um, bask in the femininity of the paedophile. That's the the epitome of a woman, right there, isn't it? Yeah towering over everyone in the room. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so, um, Peter Paul here is awaiting sentencing after pleading guilty to assaulting a fellow inmate while detained alongside male prisoners in January 2021 and has now been moved to a female prison and that's where they're being held there, as you can see, and where the protesters were. <sighs> and I have to mention this, this other meme situation that went on just as we're going through all of this. If you go to the next article here from The Mirror. Um, oh, I saw about this. I don't want to I, I don't want to be mean, but... You can be mean. Very similar to Jim Sterling, I'll be honest. <laughs> in the, but we'll scroll up on the, on the headline, because the headline is uh, something else as well. Just got a little bit there. Transgender woman says she's devastated after being banned from using female-only gym. I hate to break it to you, mate, but I don't think you've been using the gym too much. Yeah, that, 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 the that elephant too. in the room, yeah. Uh, well, uh, the only way that you could... <laughs> the only way you could be a woman is if the, the phrase you are what you eat is true and he ate an entire woman <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he might have but the, but the point being that this, this is so stupid this argument is so dumb everyone in the normies knows it everyone even in the conservative party the normie of the normies knows it 
And the, the insanity of the left-wing groups just being like, no, we can still win this. No, you're not. You really are not. This, this is just a phase in history for the West, which is going to burn out quicker than you can imagine. And we'll end this off with, if you're not convinced of that, if for some reason you've gone through all that and you're like, no, I still believe that uh, this is not a social situation. It's not something that ap- appears in people through environment, but instead is purely genetic. Well, the, the the sudden prevalence of it in society is just all of a sudden, all very, of these genes have just activated yeah, all at once. Because remember, we're a very small part of the world, and it's only in our society, and only then in the cities, that the mm. rate is doubled compared to what it used to be. Yeah, it's, it's almost like there's a social element to it, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to end this off with uh, someone admitting that, which is a local... Hmm person who has come out to tell us about their life, and uh, I suppose we shall listen to their lived experience and find out what might be the case as to why people are more and more turning into this. And yet, several years ago, I came out as pansexual and a trans man. It gets better. My mom convinced me not to share my transition with my child, and I didn't. I kept it quiet because they were young. A few years ago, he came out as a trans boy! How did this happen? Totally didn't share it with him. Mm. I am here representing my son, myself, and my girlfriend, who is a beautiful trans woman who is finally living her life. She's finally got a name change. She's finally living by herself. I'm a trans man. My partner's a trans woman. We have a trans boy as a son. (laughs) What are the chances? So you've just got a, a <laughs> nuclear family. Well, I've, yeah, I have a sense of that. Can't say that on YouTube. Oh, shit. <laughs> but the uh, thing is, it, obviously, social contagion. Like, you can visibly see it. We've had it before with many a case. Remember the they be? I don't know if you do, that we went over. These uh, tr- both, I think they were both trans women or trans... I can't even remember. These both people who say they're transgender or non- and non-binary, which is... Whatever. They they adopted two kids and uh, they were either non-binary or transitioning as well. It's like, it's amazing. The statistical chances are truly unbelievable. If you appreciated that segment from the podcast of the Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to get access to all the premium content we have on the site, such as the Contemplation series, this episode on Celtic mythology. If you'd like to find out what else we're putting out, you can follow us on Getter at lotuseaters underscore com on Getter. Thank you and goodbye.